Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We are back on schedule. We have a lot of good clips to get into for today. Before this video starts, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. But with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Many of you may have already heard, but CERN is set to start up its particle accelerator again on April 8th, which is the same day as the Great American Solar Eclipse. Quickly, if you don't know, CERN is a research facility located in Switzerland known for its particle accelerator that smashes atoms together at a high rate. The concerns about CERN started because people noticed that every time they start up their particle accelerator, there seems to be strange activity in the skies above, which have led to strange theories about CERN, including them attempting to mess with the timeline or open up portals for demons to get through. Now obviously that's all just speculation, but there have been some strange videos coming out about CERN, including some sort of a ritual that appeared to take place at 3 a.m. outside of their headquarters, which by the way is deemed as a prank or fake, but some people aren't sold and believe that something strange is happening here. Along with their ceremonies, which to me does look like it has some sort of symbolic meaning behind it. Many of you may have already heard, but CERN is set to start up as particle. That was that was strange. So that's what they be doing. And then for just just to bring back CERN on the eighth is really like, hmm, what do that mean? You know, that's questionable. Yeah, they know something up, and they know it must be a lot of energy coming in that day for real, and they know, or they can just be. You know, plan, but hey, it don't seem like they plan this time. But then to bring out the National Guards, it was this camera's out doing it. But to bring out the National Guards, yeah, something definitely about to go down. Let's talk about cell phones. Everybody got a cell phone, even your grandma got a cell phone, and your grandpa, and your mima. But believe it or not, a lot of people don't know the effects that a phone has on the body. Let's get right into it. When you use your cell phone, especially when you're on the phone and you got the phone up to your ear, you have to understand there's electromagnetic frequencies that's going through the phone. How many of y'all talk to the phone like that? Or y'all use speaker? Or you use headphones or something? And going to your brain. And these are the frequencies that are not good for your body. These are cancer-causing frequencies. And if I'm being honest, this goes for any electronic that runs on power. And the government, the elites, the people that make these phones, they know this. That's why they do it. Because they know people are so addicted to these phones. And that's why it's so important for you to get away from the phones. Have some time when you fast away from your cell phones and your devices. Because y'all see where that red circle is, right? That's where your pineal gland is located. And your third eye has to do with a lot of your spiritual awareness and your psychic abilities. When the pineal gland is activated, it can lead to a heightened sense of intuition, clarity of thought, and increased awareness of one's surroundings meaning that you can scan out your environment, receive downloads and information from the universe, and just be more in tune. But the government wants to block this. So that's why they put some right. things in the food to calcify your pineal gland. And the blue light that comes from the phone also calcifies your pineal gland as well. Wow. If you're watching this, get a blue light screen protector. It'll block out all of those light spectrums that's coming from the phone that's bad for your health. So if you're on the phone, you're not getting affected by the blue light. Because when the light goes through the phone, it goes right through your eyes and it goes to your pineal gland. And that's how it affects you. And they also have it for your TVs, laptops, computers, desktops, whatever you got. Go on Amazon. And if you know you be around the phones, the computers, all of that, make sure you're taking CMOS, bladder rack, and burdock root. They ain't list burdock root, but add that to the list. That helps get radiation and all of that out of your system. And it actually protects your cells from radiation. It has a certain effect on your body. So taking these herbs helps to cleanse out your system. Mm, bro. It's definitely a spiritual word. They attack you through the phones and all type of stuff. But yeah, you gotta get some blue screen um, protection for sure, bro. Me too. Clean up on it and send it because they want to research and see what happens. Uh, just tell it to somebody else and not me, please. This solar eclipse is not nothing new, okay? This has been happening for a long time, okay? Right. So, why are they doing it this time? They know about this. They've been knowing about this for a very long time. It happens throughout the time. But my 
my question is, my question is, what makes this particular time so different? And it comes at a very coincidental time. What I mean is this. There has been a lot of statements from foreign entities, people like Putin, saying who certain people are, how much the public have been lied to, and who the chosen people are, right? Then you have even somebody like Trump coming on and saying, like, look, you have ancient primordial beings in this realm, certain beings who are ancient and primordial, who are about to remember everything. And I know that shit sound like mythology, I know it sounds fake to a lot of people, but when I tell y'all, it can't be fake to these people. Y'all might think this knowledge is extra, y'all may think, what chosen people, blah, blah, blah. All you have to do is know who the people of the sun are. All you have to know is who the children of the sun are and it will tell you everything. It is already written that you have those who have been persecuted, those who are the children of God who have been persecuted, there is their time to rise. This is in writing. Because why else would they be doing this? Now they're saying that they're going to send out these rockets into the shadow that's going to, you know, forecast over all of us during this solar eclipse. Why would you be shooting rockets at a shadow? If anybody can help me with out with that, just let me know. If you can help me understand why they will be shooting rockets out to a shadow. Please don't say something about they're testing this and they're testing that. Ha, uh, no, they're testing. Testing. The only test I can see they ass making is the kind of test to try to stop some shit from that. Mm. Because their reasons why they're doing it just makes absolutely no sense to me. All right. So if anybody has knowledge about what's going on, y'all make sure y'all comment below and let me know your opinions on this. Because I really want to know. And if those of you who are hip to what's going on, <laughs> rise to the guys and goddesses. This rapper named Akon just exposed the entire music industry in this interview. He explains how there are way too many people trying to become artists in the industry right now and explains how most of them are broke. Check this out. Music is over convoluted right now. It's too much. It's too many. Everybody want to be an artist. There's so many sectors in the entertainment business. The artist is the last to get paid. He's the brokest one out of everybody, but he's the most famous. So if you're in it for the fame and you want to stay broke, be the artist. He then actually explains the real truth about how hard it is actually to have a hit song on the charts. Let me know your thoughts on this. It's so many areas in the entertainment field that you can really maximize you got to be super lucky with the hands of god on your on your shoulder for you to win it's actually the odds of you being an artist successfully famous in the top 100 is is almost like winning the lottery there's over 10 million songs being uploaded and released a day 10 million out of these 10 million songs a day not a month not a year a day and out of those 10 million songs uploaded a day there's only 10 spots no let me repeat it 10 spots that matter on the billboard charts this rapper named akon just exposed the entire music industry in this interview he explains how they're but it's true like what i say if you just trying to do that just have fun with it you know and monetize it on youtube that's how i do it this clip doesn't get copyrighted <laughs> this morning about how it all began now everybody knows on the first day of creation god said let there be light and there was light and when God saw that light, he knew it was good. Oh, here we go. Yes, Sheldon. You said he didn't create the sun until day four. Yeah. So how could there be light the first three days? God is light. So God's a photon. God's what made photons possible. And what day did he do that? I would think day one. How could you I'll grab my day? chest and kill over. Maybe we can get out of here. That's a terrible there was thing to say. The days because the first day had just begun. So before the Big Bang? There was no Big Bang. There was only the word. Was the word kaboom? Okay, do it. <clears throat> we gotta go. <clears throat> this morning about how it all began. Now everybody knows on the first... You fuck around, wake up the Mars shit, ass nigga with a footy on. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck you just did, dude. I'm, I mean, real shit. Your motherfucker meat feels the fuck up and your ass hurt. You don't know what the fuck you're saying. You don't know who to take. But this is what the game is going to. That's what it's going to. 
Then here it is, the time for a contract to come out. Nigga wanna sign you for five years, you like, nah, dog. So you don't wanna sign with us. Nah, not for no nah. Man, pop in the tank. Show this nigga what he did last night. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, this real shit I'm telling y'all though. Pop in the tank. You seen that motherfucker like, man, what the fuck? Yeah, well, what the fuck? That's what happened. You got fucked. What you gonna do? You gonna sign that contract? You don't want nobody in the hood to see that shit? You don't want this shit to get out, dog? I'm telling y'all, and this is what I'm gonna tell y'all like this. These niggas that you see constantly hot, they're not getting hot because they like to get hot. They're getting hot because they know what they done done. And they can't live with that shit for real soon. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all this from me. Wow. Jeez. That's sad. That is sad, man. Mm -mm -mm. Stay away from them, man. Them people is wicked. Super technology doing a solar eclipse. These people are trying to open up a portal. Only people that believe that this will just be a regular day is the people that still sleep. Because obviously everyone else believes that something's going to happen. The bridge falling down, Puff Daddy, Epstein Island, Nickelodeon, Disney. So while we sit back and gossip and worry about all the distractions, did you forget about the 10 plagues of Egypt? This is Egypt all over again. Remember, 2024 represents the year of the dragon. We are living in the year of the beast. The Ouroboros, or the snake eating his own tail. The Matrix finally realized it has nowhere to go. Only thing it can do is eat itself, and it's going to eat us alive because we don't understand what's going on. We think it's just an accident that NASA is going to launch the three rockets at the solar eclipse. Why the number three? And the name of the rockets is the serpent deity. The serpent? They're trying to unlock a portal so they can bring the beasts back into our reality. Remember, they always use certain codes and symbols to hide messages. Three rockets overstand. Number three is really powerful. The three days of darkness. It just came out with a Netflix series called Three Bodies. It was released on March 21st. Two plus one is three. Remember the Super Bowl? It was dealing with number three and number 13. We are dealing with three and 13 with the solar eclipse once again. They're trying to open up this portal to put us back in the three days of darkness because this portal is going to unlock the beast. Not just any beast, but the beast hitting in the 13th zodiac. The 13th zodiac is the serpent. That's why the three rockets in NASA is called the serpent deity. If you haven't seen Three Body Problem on Netflix, check it out. It lets you know that certain people on this planet opened up a portal and brought in a plague. When the plague came here, it said we was just bugs and they got rid of us. If you pay attention to the 10 plagues of Egypt, one of them was dealing with bugs. Are we bugs? I know a lot of people don't understand the signs of the heavens or have any kind of spiritual knowledge no more because we are so distracted with the matrix. So anytime someone speak about these things, they say we should have a luminal for you hat or a tin for you hat. If you want to break the codes of the matrix, check out both of my eBooks. The link is in the bio. Why CERN activate? It's it seems like he probably be reaching to y'all, but hey, he be dropping some gems. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Nah. You making sense. We have video games, right, that exist. One is called No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was created by like 14 college kids on one DVD. It has 80 quadrillion planets. The game never ends. And unlimited numbers of life forms as they travel throughout this game. The game never ends and life forms evolve and come into existence and everything else. There's a universe on one DVD. Now what happens if you put AI on that software? Then those beings become conscious and those animals become conscious. Another game that's, that exists is uh, The Sims. The Sims are people that have jobs, go to work, have babies, go to parties, hang out, and all this kind of stuff. That's the video game. They're talking about putting AI into The Sims. They're going to be Become conscious now what happens in the sims and this other game no man's sky when these people become conscious from the ai and then write their own programs inside the program and create another conscious universe and another one and another one the universe could be many many layers deep and that's just a hypothesis but what i'm saying is we may not be in base reality being that we could have been created by an ancestor of another universe and how many of these multiverses exist out there and i believe also that in each universe based on just understanding 
understanding quantum physics and quantum mechanics, there's a doppelganger potentially of you in a lot of these universes. Every potential outcome of you exists in every universe. So in some universes, you're not sitting here talking to me because this is not even your career. You could, you might still be in the military in another universe and so forth and so on. You see all the potential, all the potential outcomes that you could think about actually play themselves out in the multiverse. We have video games, right? Yo, that, that's deep right there, y'all. That is deep. And then we got layers of universe. Like, imagine if you got stuck in the Sims or something. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's what goes to show you that how powerful our consciousness is, right? That we can transfer it over to whatever we want. It's crazy, man. If you're willing to do that, right? That's crazy, man. Like, imagine the Sims being your new matrix. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's a whole nother level of, like, that's crazy. Conspiracies are starting to surface the internet as people are seeing the ship crash into the Baltimore Bridge at 8x speed. Now, when we look at the video at normal speed, you can see that the ship lost power a few times before hitting the bridge, which is why people think there could have been some type of cyber attack. As the ship turns the corner, you can see it has light and then it turns off. And I believe this is when the Mayday call was sent where they stopped traffic on the bridge to save as many lives as they can possible. You can see the light here will turn back on. Unfortunately, there were some construction workers working on the bridge and six are presumed to be dead because they can't find their bodies. Now you can see that the ship loses power again right before it hits the bridge. It suddenly turns back on, but at that point, it's just a little too late and it hits the bridge. Tate says that it was a cyber attack, lights go off, deliberately steer towards the bridge supports obviously there's no factual information that are backing these conspiracies but also alex jones said the same exact thing Quote tweeting it and saying looks deliberate to me a cyber attack is probable world war three has already started conspiracies are starting mm -hmm. to the internet as people but it's just like i seen people was like how do they know the time to record this and how did they know the time it, the shit was gonna get here and all that so this is like this is look like you know an inside job like i said this is so beautiful mm. yeah i had to tell my people i gotta go y'all look how beautiful and divine oh my gosh amazing amazing time amazing time to be alive man indeed See the firmament, the grid, the simulation that they say we in, right? The matrix. I want you to look at this. This is serious. This is with the new telescope. What? First of all, what is this ring? And then look what happens when I zoom in. Look, when you zoom look in at on this grid. Grid-like pattern behind it. What in the world? Mind you, you got the telescope on the sun. So basically what you were seeing is a man bought a telescope and he zoomed in on the sun and the sun had a like a, a, a circle around it. And when he zoomed in closer, he could see a grid flat line that was behind. And it's, I just find telescopes really interesting. You know this ancient technology and I don't think it stops here. I think some of these buildings, these ancient buildings were used as forms of telescope. Even when you look all across the world from Eastern Ball and all in India and all in China, everywhere, right? Where they still kept their architecture, Russia. They always got these, um, they always got these, um, these points at the top. They either antennas or some type of holes where you can see through. And I feel like if you align a certain way and look through all three of them, you might see something. Just like how, like, if you're in a church, that veil, like, if you look at a lot of cathedrals or churches, not the modern churches, but the old, um, buildings, you see they got a lot of windows at the top and sometimes the way the sun set you could tell time or you could tell certain events based on where the light is in the building 
I don't know what that's called. If y'all know what that's called, or if it's a name for that, y'all comment below. Everything don't need titles, but just to give a... And a lot of people think about the simulation. You think, oh, Sims. Like, you have people in the comments like, oh, people really think we're living in a simulation. It's not like computerized. It, it kind of is computerized, but it's more like algorithmized. It, algorithm, algorithmized. However you say that, right? It's not like you're off a computer. Oh, everybody's moving and somebody is, like, moving the pieces. But... It's more like an organic simulation, so it's high event. It's highly advanced. You have to understand something, bro. I just grabbed breath out of thin air. You could explain some science to say how that's possible, but that's crazy. Like, how am I just grabbing air out out of nowhere? That's literally alchemy. But like, when you see this realm, or when you hear people talk about the matrix simulation, they think like, oh, um. It's a computer grid, but you got to know a computer come from the human mind. Mm. The mind that your mind works in, in crazy ways. It's just True. Like when you're so caught up in, when you're so densified, when you're so mundane, earthly, let's just say it like that, when you're real, real mundane with your thinking, of course it's like, oh, everything's a conspiracy. Oh, leave that stuff alone. You feel me? Because it's, I understand what they're saying because you could overthink yourself into, you could think yourself into, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oblivion. But you got to question this shit because it's like, any person with a conscience is not going to be able to look at all this, what's going on, and be like, okay, this is enough. Going to work, going out on the weekends, taking a couple trips with the kids. And most people, when they take trips, they don't even go to nature. You know what I'm saying? But taking trips, doing all this, artificial. You living on a, on a, on a, on a, um, you're literally living on a assimilation. <laughs> like, you're living on a grid board being told what to do. You're, you're, a, you're a Sims character, you know? So, and I wonder if on April 8th, if you're going to be able to look at that grid. It's possible if that brother with that telescope, look, if he could, if he could see the solar eclipse in the stadium, that'll probably, that grid will probably look crazy, you know? But that shit ain't never coming down. Like, even when they use these spaceships or these shuttles, nobody be in these things, like, Y'all ever like look at really look at spaceships? I could make a different video on this, but is you going to a different universe and that that look like a rust bucket? Look like some shit from 1920s, bro. Nobody be in them, bro. They sending them in there to try to crack that crack the furniture. But this is a thing too. Why would they try to crack the grid if it's supposedly water above the? All right, I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm going too deep. <laughs> He, he was getting somewhere though. I'm not gonna lie. Cause, hey, why would they do that, right? That's a good question. All right, this is gonna be the last clip, and we're gonna pop and make another video. So look out for another video today. Um, I'm trying to post twice a day. All right, I'm gonna start doing that. But let's see the get to see this clip. The Simpsons I already told you guys. The Simpsons I already told y'all. Yeah, this is probably why they're shutting down school. Remember when they talked about prisoners possibly getting out? Y'all see that? Whole matrix shutting down. The parasites coming out of the milk. People looting. And this all entires with the sun cycle. Because again, uh, the sun makes people act erratic. This has been scientifically proven. People's emotion goes aligned with the sun every 11 years. Just as people's emotions go with the moon, you know? Mm. The sun affects us like this as well. So they don't know what that sun is going to do. So, of course, they got to shut down the school, y'all. Because I said this before. Um, if it is the moon that's supposed to block the sun, nobody's ever seen the moon get in front of the sun. So, of course... That is another light out there. And you know what's crazy? The sun the sun be out the same time the moon be out. Well, the moon be out the same time the sun be out. That is, hey, come on, man. This, yeah, this is, let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is true. Look up, man. Only, I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. It's, it's definitely something big coming for them to even pick that. And the uh, Simpsons, y'all already know what the Simpsons. Everything in the Simpsons, they already know it's about to happen. Uh, so, yeah. All right, like I said, that is going to do it for today's video. Um,
probably gonna post another video today i don't know be on the lookout for another video you'll see if i can get some more clips some good clips for you guys i'll get another video out in the same day and i will premiere it this is going to be already premiered um if you are watching this i appreciate you watching this for you to leave off the video please leave a like so we can reach the algorithm but with all that being said man i'll see you guys in the next one peace